<laughs> oh, hell yes. Hell yes, my dogs. <laughs> oh, man. I had uh, so much fun. Uh, I'm going to leave on just uh, one of the funniest things that's ever happened in my life. I love Halloween. I love to go to haunted houses. So I live in Los Angeles now, and there they have the professional haunted houses, folks. You go to Halloween Horror Nights, you pay a little bit of extra scratch, pay a little bit of extra coin, but you get the experience of getting professional, professional, out-of-work actors <laughs> pretending to be monsters. <laughs> and they have to commit a thousand percent or they'll be fired from their union job. <laughs> it's so great. So. I was at Halloween Horror Nights, and I'm loving it. I'm going through one of these mazes, and people pop out of closets dressed as monsters to scare you. I'm like, eh, woo, eh. You know, just having a fun time. And I'm going through this maze, and this dude pops out of the closet. It's like this huge, gigantic, like, 14-foot closet. And he's got this skeletal goat face mask and these black shrouds. And he's on these four really big stilts. And he pops out of the closet and steps on my foot with one of the stilts and like bruises it purple, like fucks it up. So I yell out, I go, ah! And he just goes, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Oh God, I'm so sorry. I could hear him apologizing behind the door. At, still as a monster. Oh, please, I'm sorry. Don't tell my manager about this. Don't tell Satan, I don't want to go back to work at Chipotle. <laughs> that was a good night, but this was either better. You guys have been great. Uh, thank you so much, Chicago. Hampton Young! Holy shit! you know anybody younger than me <laughs> there you go that's a good way into it everybody just now like their jobs don't make sense to me like they just make clickbait like that's everybody's job is like well I make articles I don't know what the fuck that is 
And it's always like the clickbait that people make is always the most like sensationalistic type of shit to make me definitely click on it, <laughs> right? So they'll be like, 12 pictures of Channing Tatum that redefine your notions of feminism. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, <laughs> six gifs of Donald Trump that will erase your God. Like, Whoa. <laughs> Are we fat shaming our mass shooters? That's kind of based on something that happened, which is like, I saw an article when uh, Dylan Roof like shot up that church, uh, he was a mass shooter. There was an article that was like, the police gave him Burger King. <laughs> I was like, how fucking fat is this country? Where we're just like, can you believe he got Burger King? I wish I got Burger King. <laughs> I don't know. It's not like they made him wear the crown. <laughs> well, now you get to wear the crown. And you're the little prince of shooting people. All these scientists now are coming out with their like, maybe all of reality is just a simulation inside of a computer. It's like, we're only going to you to cure society's problems. <laughs> but when scientists, this, honestly, this really reads as like end of days when scientists are just like, you know, maybe it's all just a dream. <laughs> hey, hey, maybe a computer's having a dream. <laughs> and we're in the computer's dream. Like that's like, that's not helping on any level. <laughs> Are you ready for your headliner? Okay, are you ready for your headliner? Guys! Give that applause going for Hampton Young! He's going. Guys, keep it going. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Hey. Thank, thank you. Guys, oh my lord, give it up for all the comedian you're about to see. It is funny that like the arguments they always use for guns it's always the same, and they just suck. They're not good. Like, they're always like, whoa, guns don't kill people. People kill people. That's like the most four-year-old logic <laughs> I've ever heard. No one's arguing the other side of that. No one's saying, people don't kill people. Guns kill people. Guns are like sentient creatures walking around shooting people. Like the Fantasia brooms. Just, oh no, God, the guns. The guns are everywhere. Like, no. That's not. That's like going, like, well, forks don't eat spaghetti. You eat spaghetti. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> Didn't realize I was debating an intellectual. little bit of personal experience with uh, mass shootings. I went to Virginia Tech. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. We had a shooting <laughs> uh, right after I left. Like, there was a mass shooting and I was like, did I push someone? Like, what the fuck? Like, it really boggled me. And, like, here's the thing. This is the way the college handled it at the time, which they don't do now. At the time, they were like, let's hold a mass 
benefit concert for everyone, for this tragedy that's happened. So Virginia Tech threw a big, uh, it was uh, Dave Matthews Band and John Mayer concert. <laughs> they threw this big bash, and I was like, great. Now three tragedies have happened. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Show a little sympathy. The odd uh, dichotomy is that I love guns and fantasy. Like, I love movies with guns. That's predominantly what I like to watch. And when I'm watching a movie where there's no guns, I'm always a little like, there should be guns in this. (laughs) That would really liven up Amelie. (laughs) Gunshot action. (laughs) Like, every time I'm reading the Harry Potter books... Or watching the Harry Potter series of movies. That's right, every time. (laughs) The multiple times I've enjoyed that franchise. I'm always like, there should be one character who has a gun. Like, all this magic shit's popping off where they're like, oh, I can't cast a spell because of the amulet of reversal. Like, there should have been one character who's like, I got it. (laughs) Just this weird American foreign exchange student. Kevin from America. I got Harry <laughs> Took care of Voldemort for us, brother. <laughs> that wasn't Voldemort. That was the hall monitor. <laughs> is it Voldemort or is it Voldemort? Mort. With a hard T? J.K. JK Rowling said recently, she goes, oh, it's not Voldemort. It's Voldemort. Like, she keeps coming up with facts, and it's fucking hurting me so bad. <laughs> I, here's the thing. I reread the series recently as an adult. Here's my theory. I think J.K. Rowling started the Harry Potter series of books as a suicide note, and it's just spun, like, way out of control. <laughs> like, she didn't think people would like it this much. <laughs> like, wrote it sarcastically. Here's the facts of when she wrote the first Harry Potter. She's 40 years old, living on welfare, had depression, had suicide attempts, had been a failed author, and that's when she wrote the first Harry Potter book. So you can just imagine her, like, in her frustration, just like, no one wants to buy my books, huh? I'll write a book for you. It's about a kid wizard. (laughs) (laughs) He's got a bunch of wizard friends. He's got a dumb teacher. He's named Dumbledore. He's so fucking dumb. (laughs) And then everyone in the country is like, that's the best book I've ever read! It's the new Bible! Like, it sells insane numbers. She's, oh, fuck, they like this shit. So then, by, like, the third book, she starts killing the kids. And then we're like, we love it when you kill the kids! Kill more kids! Kill kids every book! I demand a pile of dead kids every book! (laughs) We just eat it up. And now she's just releasing facts after the books have come out. I think just to fuck with people. You know what I mean? Like, she'll be like, oh, well, Dumbledore was gay. Like, that has nothing to do with his character (laughs) at all. Well, he loved to suck dick! Tell you that for free! He loved it! I just forgot to write those chapters. <laughs> Every other chapter, he'd be fucking his boyfriend. And then he'd be teaching little children wizards how to learn. <laughs> uh, it's gross. <laughs> oh, it's not Voldemort, it's Voldemort. Oh, I wish he'd said something before we made eight movies over ten years <laughs> that you consulted on. <laughs> Could have said anything at any time. That's what I'm saying. Like, I think she should just fuck with people even more. 
now and just be like, oh, Harry was black. You all just assumed he was white. <laughs> like, because you're racist. <laughs> I never sat down and said, oh, the white Harry Potter got up that day, talked to all of his white friends. <laughs> and I wrote that, like, as a joke, but then it kind of happened. On the London stage, there's, like, a Harry Potter play and they cast the Hermione character as a black woman, and everybody gone on Twitter and started writing J.K. Rowling, and they're like, was Hermione black? And she was like, yeah, whatever. Like, she doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> like, she really was like, I don't know, like, whatever. Like, do what you want. <laughs> and then people are like, oh, well, what's the big deal? What's the big deal? Oh, I'll tell you what the big deal is. The big deal is that now, Whenever I want to cosplay, dress up as Hermione, and have sex, I have to put on blackface. And people think I'm some sort of bigot every time I want to get fucked like a little girl wizard. It's not right. It's not right. <laughs> Love you. Just you now, specifically. <laughs> Only the guy that reciprocated my love. The rest of you are dead to me! 